guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today I'm going to show you how to create this functional and I'm saying functional in quotation marks because the actual thing itself is not functional, it is functioning as something else. I'm going to say a functional laundry play set. First thing we're using is a kitchen island. Make sure it is an island because normal kitchen counters like this cannot be sized down. If you look here, nothing happens when you size it down. This, which is exactly the same thing, it has the little lip and it's the one with the lip that you need because these can be sized down. And what I'm going to do is size this down twice. All of the keys will be on screen for PC and um, console. And then all I'm going to do is I'm turning it around this way because I just want the back side of the cupboard. You can have it sticking out the other way, but I don't like the lip. So that's why I'm doing that. And then I'm going to alt place this and just place it so that it's sticking through the wall. You won't see it on the other side because it's not big enough because we've sized it down that small. Next up, I'm using the washing machine from laundry day you do need laundry day for this because there isn't washing machines in any of the other packs so we are going to be using this and again just sizing it down twice and if you don't want this to be functional you can just go ahead and place it next to here and to make it not functional to adult sims just grab any single item size it down and place it inside of it this will stop sims being able to use it because they are colliding with each other if you want this to function as a toy box go ahead and we're going to use the basement tool it is the fifth tool along in the wall section and i'm just going to create a basement under this this will only work on the ground floor so sorry if you want to build this on the second story sadly it will not work and what i'm going to do is grab my washing machine go down into the basement this is quite difficult to show and i'm just going to raise this up until that green line of the grid sits on top of that wall and then we want to keep it central in this room so what I'm going to do is just place it against the wall and be as central as possible. And you might just do some slight adjusting with this one. It's just easier to adjust this one once this one's in place um, because moving this around is a bit more difficult because you have to do it in the basement and guess. So the lighting is a little bit off on this. You can tell it's a little bit more dark. All you're going to go ahead and do is go down into that basement, click on it and drag it sideways away. Don't just delete it because it will delete the washing machine. So drag it away, then delete the single wall. And then it will be nice and lit up and match the room that you are in. So now just grab any toy box, one that preferably sort of matches the washing machine colour as close as possible. It doesn't have to be exact. For example, this has a darker blue on it, but it's going to be quite hidden. What we're going to do is size this down to as small as we can get it. And then all I'm going to do is press Alt to Alt place this and just place it until... You can just see a little bit of the toy box here. You want it to stick slightly through because you need to be able to click on it for your toddler to be able to access it. So your sim is still getting some function out of this instead of just being it decorative. Obviously you could change it around to make it look however you like. I'm just doing it in a really basic way. Now what I'm going to do is make it look a little bit more like a play set. So I'm going to use some of the stuff from the laundry day stuff pack. I'm going to go ahead and use this because it is that blue colour, it's not exactly the same. This is one that's supposed to be on the floor, but I'm just going to raise this up. And I'm just going to have a little bit of a guess of where I want it. And we can always move it later on. Now, depending on how you want to join this together, if you do want to join it together, I feel like it looks more like a play set when it's all joined together, like it comes as a whole unit. There's a few different ways to do it. Do it. You can go ahead and use a room divider and put it on the edge. I really like using the Eco Lifestyle slats. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. But yeah, I'm using these slats, but you don't have to use these exact ones. There is other items you are able to use, just something that will join the sides together. So these snap to walls, because they snap to walls, what I'm going to do is just delete the walls behind this for now. Grab these and size them down. I'm using the tallest ones just because the tallest ones, when you size them down, fit nicely where I want them. And all I'm going to do is place them on the side like this and i'm going to do the other side also but now i have them in place i can go ahead and put my wall back in and repaint and you can go ahead and decorate now if you want to place anything on top of this counter a little trick i like to do is just grab a shelf i'm just going to use the base game shelf because it's the one that is easily hidden i'm gonna grab the little laundry detergent and just size it down a couple of times just to make it fit in with the children's look a little bit more. 
I'll also just go ahead and add some toys on there just to make it look like our children speak plain. And all we're going to do is place it on here. As you move the shelf, everything will go back big, but when you let it go, it goes back small. So what we're going to do is put this shelf into here and just to make it fully hidden, just size down the shelf once. And when you let go, your items will be placed on there. So also just for a little bit of fun, I'm going to add a basket. I'm going to add one that's a bit brightly coloured to make it look a little bit more fun and childlike and just placing that next to it. And to make this not functional, go ahead and place an item in it. I actually placed a little plush teddy in here. So what I'm going to do is get my penguin, size it down and pop it says popping out there. This will just make it sure adults can't use it because there is something in the way. And then I'm also going to add a little ironing board and just size it down so it's a little mini one like it's meant for children. And you could add this to the side and again because it's something that locks to the wall. Just go ahead and delete that. Place it on the edge just so it looks like it's a whole kit that's joined together. And you get something like that. And I'll just show you that this is fully functional. I'm going to get my toddler to come and clean up her toys. But here's my toddler. And she's reaching into the toy box. And it looks like she's grabbing it out of the washing machine. And that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.